so many things. Um, so I've always loved reading and writing. That's been a big passion of mine. It fell a little bit by the wayside when I went to uni, you know, so many things happening, so many changes, but I picked it back up again. And um, in terms of the themes of the book, I never imagined I would write something that deals with um, such a big um, topic. Islamophobia is the, the biggest topic, biggest theme in the book. But I felt like it was um, important to write a story that offers a different narrative for, for young people, um, for anyone who picks up the book. So that was really the biggest, the biggest motivator for me to write something like this. So in terms of the practical things I overcame with writing the book, it was actually, so this story was the first one I've ever written to completion. I've never actually written a book before, so it was difficult for me to just actually understand how I'm meant to write a story, really. Like, how many words um, typically do you have in a young adult book um, of this genre? And um, how what sort of narrative do you write? What sort of point of view do you write from? And just sort of logistically, all of those things. Um, where does the big event happen? And sort of, um, you know, just all of the things that you feel like you know before you sit down to write a story, but actually you don't really know. So a lot of it was learning by experience and just getting myself stuck in. Um, and some of it was actually just looking online and seeing what other authors had spoken about. Um, and then writing from the experience as a black Muslim woman, um, was was freeing. I actually didn't find that very difficult at all because I was writing from my own experience and writing people who looked like me, um, writing people who looked like members of my family. So it was probably the easiest thing for me to write because um, you know I've it's it's my culture that's on the page and you know my my parents' culture as well. Um, so that was the most enjoyable part of writing the story. Academically, Hanan is very much me, I would say. So that side of her is inspired by um, my experiences in sixth form and being an aspiring medical student, which she is, and she's you know very competitive and she's ambitious and she knows what she wants to do. That's very much always been me. Um, and the other aspects of her personality, so she's, the story's about her finding her voice and she struggles with doing that. That was more difficult for me to write because that's not that's not who I am at all. I've always been someone who says what she thinks and how she feels. But obviously when you're writing a story, you need some kind of character development. And so it made more sense to have Hanan as someone who isn't like that in the beginning, but becomes that towards the end of the story. My inspiration is just to continue writing. Um, black Muslims onto the page and seeing where that takes me. I, in terms of themes, I don't see myself coming back to discussing Islamophobia um, because there's so much more to explore um, in these characters of these backgrounds. And, you know, life is so rich and full of stories and I just want to explore those stories and see where it takes me. Um, but I am definitely really proud and grateful to have written a book that um, tackles a really big issue in a way that I hope um, people can take um, a really optimistic message from. But yeah, I think the future in terms of writing for me will just be to continue writing the representation that I love to see. I would say the biggest thing that you could do for yourself is try and find a way to shut out those voices. You know, if it's pulling back from social media, anywhere where you feel like this is definitely wherever this is coming from to suppress your feelings and your motivations and your inspiration find that source and uh, just shut it down because if you're constantly absorbing all of that it's going to have a big impact on you um, and if you're really serious about writing and you have all of these dreams um, regardless of where it goes or where it takes you you owe it to yourself to see it through um, and to write what feels true to you um, yeah, and be as authentic as possible, um, ignoring everyone around you who doesn't want you to be that way. I think many communities, um, so I think this book is for young people who experience bullying and don't know how to respond to that. Um, I think the story for me is also for um, black Muslims 
it's also for Muslims um, in general because so much of what Hanan faces is the discrimination because she believes a certain way because she she holds certain belief systems um, so this book is definitely an answer to all of to, to any Muslim who has felt that way um, or has been treated that way by certain people um, and it's also for um, Somalis as well um, I never saw um, Somali characters in children's books growing up um, and I think that's I think it's a very beautiful thing for anyone to pick up a book and see themselves reflected on the page so I hope it speaks to a lot of different people regardless of regardless of whether they can connect to Hanan you know as a black Muslim female directly I hope they can see something of themselves in the book um, I mean my, my my dream is for it to have a, a big impact. My dream is for um, loads of young people to pick up this book, whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim, because I think there's so much to, to gain um, from the story. I mean, I'm biased saying that, but that was my intention when I sat down to write the book. Um, I think young people need um, to be offered a different narrative than the one that's currently presented to them about Muslims in the media and in entertainment as well. Um, I don't think we see a lot of that in young um, young adult fiction and definitely not in sort of featuring British characters. Um, so I hope it receives a positive response. Um, I hope people are open to reading Hanan's story because it's not necessarily one a lot of people may not, I, I feel like it's not something a lot of people would just pick up because they want to pick up. Um, but I hope that they see the book for more than what it is. Um, and I think there's a universal message of hope um, and just positivity in the book that I think everyone can relate to.